we have had a ton of confusion about the peer reviews, so I'm trying to streamline this process. The benefit of having the peer reviews is I think if you uh, think a little bit about your work, you do the self-evaluation, which I'm having you do. If you evaluate, look at the work of the, your peers and make sure that double check their work um, and do all of that evaluation, you actually learn a little bit better. Um, you learn more, it sinks in a little bit deeper, and so that's important to me. Additionally, I like you to get feedback from more sources than just me. Um, especially with some of these big projects, they get, you have to realize you're looking at two, I'm looking at 30 per class. Um, so sometimes my feedback cannot be as in-depth as your feedback can be to your peers. So that is why the peer reviews are so important to me. So let's talk about how they're going to work here. Um, we're going to start actually using them for a grade. If you didn't use them, if you had problems understanding, didn't submit last for the previous weeks, don't freak out. We're not worried about that. So here we are, we're now in week four. And I want you to notice here that I did not in this particular week, and I know my view is a little bit different than yours, I didn't actually put an assignment submission here. All you have here is a description. Um, you have a description of the project, and here, down here, I put, I will be putting what would go into the rubric, because I can't really attach a rubric to it. Um, so that is the way that will work here. I can go into student view, probably. So don't go and say, I can't submit my project to the assignment. Well, you can't because it's just a description. So if you can't do it there, where are you going to submit it? You submit it outside of the week folder, and I'm putting the peer reviews. I'll call this a peer. I'll rename this here so you guys don't all get confused. I'll call it the peer review or self-assessment or something but I'll keep the week four there. It's outside of the weekly folder because it spans both week four and week five. Now, here's where the confusion is coming in. You can submit this project all week long, right up until midnight this upcoming Sunday. You can't turn stuff in late, sorry. So a lot of people are saying, why can't I see my peer reviews? I'm trying to do peer review too. Well, you can't see it because we're in week four you have to turn things in on time because this is automated. You can see here that it's going to at 11.59 p.m. or excuse me, at 11.59 p.m. on February 12th, so that's like a minute before midnight and then on uh, you have to have things turned in and then at that midnight there on the next day, one minute later, the peer reviews are assigned automatically by the system. So it's not me being mean or anything. And then once this, once people have turned in their work, I can't go in and change these dates. So you must submit in this period of time. So please don't come to me and say, I'm going to be late. Hey, you had this whole week. It's not like you have to wait until Sunday to do your work. Do your work a little bit early. Here's a little secret. Even if you're not completely done, you can submit your work to the peer review just to, so you know that it's there. The only question is here if we click on this view and complete assignment, you do have to write these things up. So, you know, you may have to like write for the future or something, but if you have a really good idea of what you're doing and you still need to just refine some stuff, go ahead and submit it to the peer review because they're just looking at your URL. So it doesn't matter, you know, it's not like you submit it here and it's frozen in time forever. Does that make sense? For this particular assignment. The thing that is frozen in time, though, is whatever you write up. But your web page itself will be changing. So, um... To get into this, how do you submit it? You can see here that I have this. I tell you what to do. You're going to click on this question one. And I'm asking you some questions. Tell us who the audience is. Uh, how are you trying to make their life better? 
And some of my audience is people who want cakes in San Antonio. I don't know. Whatever it is. Things that you have discussed. Um... I'm not really going to go over this because we discussed it already in the module. Really, every now I'm just talking about the how to submit. Okay, so after you submit that, um, I can't actually see it because I can't submit. But when you go back in, and hopefully maybe somebody can send me some screenshots of this process. So, you have to turn it in by February 12th. Peer review is that following week. So peer review, the evaluation time is going to go into week five. You have all of week four to submit. You have all of week five to evaluate. Make sense? Okay. And then I am sure what's going to happen is you open this up and you probably have to click if something is blue like this, you click on it. And then the criteria that would have been in the rubric is actually inside of the inside of the uh, question itself. Let me go out of here and we can take a look at it. I can show you my view, which is going to be a little bit different than your view, no doubt. Okay, so this is what I see. So I have the question and then I have criteria for all of these. And you can see when you're doing your evaluations, you'll be asked, does it have five pages? And you can, based on your own judgment, can give them zero to 25 points. Does it have a submenu item? Give them tw zero to 20 points. And this is kind of a yes or no question, so, you know, be nice to your friends. Okay, is there an external link? Yes or no, 0 to 20 points. Um, and I, I don't think I actually asked you to uh, look at their alt tags. Oh, look at that. You got off on that one. And then this is significant progress towards a goal. That's going to be based upon what they wrote up, because if you didn't see their project last week, you don't know what changes there are, so you have to kind of evaluate. Did they actually do some work this week? Yes, no. And then based on, you know, did they do a few, few hours worth of work? Give them zero to 35 points. That's the way the peer review works. So starting with this week, we will actually be using the peer review. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, please let me know if you know of ways to make this process a little bit smoother. Um, I'm trying to use these tools inside of Blackboard as best I can. And so sometimes it gets a little challenging for me too. And it's important for me to understand what you're going through because you can see I don't see it the same way you do. So whenever you're having questions or problems, please feel free to shoot me a text.